We're at the Stone Barn Nursery on Route 313 in Fountainville, PA. This is a September walking tour of our nursery. It's the September, mid-September morning, and we've had just had three days of rain, so everything should be really bright and clean and crisp. Uh, we're going to just take a little tour through the nursery and give you a little brief rundown of what we do. We, we specialize in a lot of arborvitas, and we have a lot of large trees, small trees. We deliver and plant to the East Coast states. We have a couple of farms where we grow materials, and we have a couple locations where we sell materials from. And we have a wide range of nursery stock. Plus, we also have stone and stone products like flagstone, wall stones. The trees down in front, we have large, large caliper shade trees, and we specialize in windbreaks and barriers. And the tree before us right here, this is our green giant arborvita. These are a seven to eight foot arborvita. They're very fast growing and deer resistant. We also stock Leland cypresses, which you see down in there. And these are hollies. This is the Nellie Stevens hollies. These are some burning bushes ready to go out on a job. This is Ilex Viticulata, Winterberry Holly, Willow Wood Viburnum. Over here we have, these are uh, river birch. These are a straight species river birch. More hollies, white pine. We have some large globe arborvitas down in there. This is Zelkova. And again over here we have these red bushes over there. Those are the uh, European cranberry. And as you can see, we carry a lot of arborvitas. There's some elegant, there's some pyramidalis in there, green giants. This is our yard where we get mulch and mulch products. We also have piles of rocks that you can come pick rocks. If you want to get a truckload of rocks, there's big rock piles all over the place where you can pick your own rocks. And we uh, do deliver up and down the East Coast. Our telephone number is 215-651-8329. Now I'm going to give you some little uh, plant suggestions here on different plants that we stock, deliver, and plant for you on to East Coast. These are some of the deer resistant screening trees that we sell and grow. In front of me right here, this is the green giant arborvitae, about a three to four foot. This is a Cryptomeria Yoshino, the Leland Cypress, and we have quite a bit of material out here. As you can see, it goes on for quite a ways. This is just one of many farms that we have where we grow nursery stock for screens and buffers. These are western red cedars right in here called Zabrina. These are emerald green arborvitas. And notice everything we have in the nursery is under drip. We try and do everything with drip irrigation and when we install we like to put the drip down for you because we know how well it works. The steeds hollies, green luster hollies, and there's some more of our equipment and material getting ready to go out. <laughs> we have thousands and thousands of trees and shrubs here. And we always have material that's on sale, so give us a call at 215-651-8329. This is some bamba, bamboo, it's called Green Panda. It's a dwarf variety of bamboo, and it's not considered to be an invasive type. This is Ruby Spice Calethra. Uh, interesting selection. It gets to be about five foot high. It's deer resistant and it is also very fragrant. These are blue Pacific junipers. A creeping type juniper off on ground. Also a deer resistant variety. This is a dragon lady holly. And next to it in the back is the centennial girl holly. It's a very prickly holly and usually it is uh, considered to be deer resistant. Not 100% deer proof, but just deer resistant. In other words, the deer can eat it if they're very, very hungry, but they don't like it. This is the fall color of cranberry viburnum. It has a white flower in the spring and a red cluster of berries in the fall. It's easy to grow and it can take a little bit of shade. It has clusters of red berries like you see in there. 
you just see those red berries there and the plant as it gets larger has better better clusters but uh, these are usually planted about four feet apart in rows these are dwarf foxwoods and next to it a Hetz Midget Globe Arborvita. These are Blue Muffin Viburnum. It has white flowers in the spring and a cluster of blue berries in the fall. The fall color starts to turn red as you can see and then they'll drop some leaves. I like this. And it's a very hardy Viburnum, a native type species. This, this is a cultivar that's called arrowwood in many terms and you can see why it has the straight up shoots fairly easy to grow. These are some of the selections of our Japanese red maples. This is Ruby Spice Calethra. Uh, interesting selection. It gets to be about five foot high. It's deer resistant and it is also very fragrant. 